Hey, it's Sean, founder of StartupFreedom.com. If you're new here, there's a lot of misleading information online about how to make money. You see, a lot of this information comes from internet marketers or get-rich-quick gurus that have only made money by teaching people like you and I how to make money online. So how do you trust their information is legitimate and that it'll actually work in different niches to make you money? Well, I wanted to go out to the source and ask successful online money makers how they made money online and how you can make money online. So that's what we do here at Startup Freedom. Today I wanted to go back to an interview I did with Tony Schwartz, the founder of The Energy Project, which is a coaching company, a consulting company that teaches businesses how to manage their energy better so they can be more productive and get more done in less time and enjoy more of life. Tony's been featured on CNN and all sorts of major news sources. He's coached companies like Google, Ford, Sony, and the list goes on. And I want to go back and ask Tony how he uses online marketing to drive traffic and sales to his business. How do you get, how do you get clients as a, as a consultant online? How are you using your online medium to drive traffic to your business? You know, we've had a, a really great experience in building our social, uh, our social media just in the last uh, 12 months because we were, we were arguably late to the game, although the game is pretty new, um, and we really threw ourselves into it in the last 12 months. And actually, my own daughter, I have a young daughter uh, who's, who's running our, our social marketing. It's the right kind of age person to have do it. She's yeah. doing a fantastic job. Um, what we've done is to basically take the idea, and this is very consistent with everything you hear about the, uh, uh, the internet, that we can share all our intellectual property. We, we give it away mm -hmm. um, in the belief that really, really making use of it in the, at the highest level will ultimately require that they make another level of engagement. And in the meantime, we're providing a great service. So our, I think our Twitter site is, for example, terrific. The, it's called the Energy Underscore Project. Yeah. Uh, that's our Twitter handle. Terrific, because every day we're providing real information, either in those 140 characters or through a link. Um, I blog on hbr.org and the Huffington Post every week. Mm -hmm. We have a Facebook fan page. We, um, we, are, uh, using our, we are building through all of these different social media forms and the book. Um, we're building a database that then allows us to go out and offer lots of things to people such as uh, webinars. And mm -hmm. again, we're offering those webinars for free. Uh, and, you know, we're getting, we had, we had a very modest database, uh, you know, uh, in January. We probably in, increased it by a hundred times in the last eight months. Do, do you and, mind saying what your database is at now, just just for those other consultants? It, well, it's not particular. I mean, I will. I don't mind, but it's not. It's not yet really impressive. But it's incredibly impressive against a database of almost nothing. Yeah, it's about twenty. It's about twenty thousand. Yeah, that's great. It's about twenty thousand. Now, here's a here's a more exciting way of looking at it. Last week, it increased by a thousand. Awesome. Um, now, why? Well, the single biggest driver to our website. I mean, sorry, to our database is an energy audit that we offer, a 20-question audit that people can take to find out how well they're managing their energy. And then we ask for their names when we do it, um, you know, not uncharacteristically, and their, and their email. And the audit provides such value to people that we've gotten, wherever we put it, on HBR, on Twitter, when I do interviews I, like this one, I always mention it. Yes. Um, and wherever we do it, that's a, that's a person. And that's a person who's already invested. We already know that person is interested in this work enough to have taken themselves through 20 questions, but not demanding more than three or four minutes of their time. So we're giving them something of real value. Again, anybody who's working in the Internet knows that notion, giving real value. Mm -hmm. um, but we are seeing the return on that investment. Uh, and when we get the bigger the medium in which this occurs, we got one day... We got oh, well over 5,000 people uh, on that database in the last three months because there was an article about our work in an incredibly prominent place, the top of CNN. Oh, wow. And it had the, it had the energy audit, and because there was such a big audience, 
we really got a tremendous response. Yeah. And you know, the other one other thing I'd say is that anybody doing this, whatever the business is, it's a numbers game. And so you will eventually get caught if you provide lousy uh, information. information or yeah. products. Mm -hmm. You will eventually it will catch up with you. In the short term, we both know that there are people who get away with that because they've figured out how to build a database and a marketing approach that's so big as a database and slick as a marketing approach that it really doesn't matter whether the product is good because if you have a database of 100,000 people and a certain price level for the product, you know a certain percentage pretty much for sure are going to buy that product. Yeah. So I was slow to understand the importance of building a database, and I know by how fast it's growing that what's 20,000 today will be 100,000 in a few months and will be a million at a certain point, and that will change our business. What we have to be sure to do is to keep the quality level the same of the mm -hmm. products we deliver. I agree. And when you say database, you just simply mean email list, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect.